Hi guys, um, my name is Gil and I'm going to do some uh, comparison flying between uh, three gliders as you might see in the first of the clip. Uh, I would ask you to uh, accept my apologize and forgive me for my bad English. Since it's not my native language, I'll do my best to, to be heard clearly as much as possible. <clears throat> I'll try to this comparison with the Steigeisen. Uh, the weather is um, uh, partly cloudy, a lot of dust uh, around. Um, temperature is around uh, 16, 17 degrees Celsius. That's about uh, 62 Fahrenheit. Uh, wind is about. Um, three to four meters per second with the uh, gusts of uh, five to six meters per second uh, I'll try to do my best uh, to let you uh, feel what I see with my eyes and feel on the transmitter stick <clears throat> this comparison is uh, has been born since I have three very nice gliders I have the Steigeisen, I have the fireworks Flow 5 and the uh, Helios and I'm very confusing of which which one of them to use in uh, choppy and windy weather so I'll try to do my best that you can see the same as I do which one of them is uh, acting and how he acts in this uh, kind of weather so let's start <clears throat> and we'll see how it goes As you might see, uh, there is some uh, gust up there. The Steigeisen is uh, <clears throat> acting, moving his, uh, the wings from side to side, getting uh, some wind gusts that moves his uh, uh, rudder. Now he's holding. Let's do, make, put some down trim to make him move, move around, cruise around. <clears throat> and we'll try to get some lift downwind. Now I'm hands free, and the Steigeisen is very edgy. Uh, he's very edgy. Let's come for landing very easily. Okay, that was the Steigeisen. <clears throat> Let's take another one and test it. Change the transmitter program to the Flyrox 5. So let's launch. Oops, a little launching against the sun, and we are here on again. Give him some more down trim, let him move. Okay, more down trim. Now it's okay. Let's see. Oops small bumps I have some issue with this glider <clears throat> in uh, in uh, gusty wind in uh, choppy weather or whatever you call it I find I found it hard to make it uh, go into the turn with only with with uh, only with the rudder it means that I'm uh, moving the ailerons but when I, now, now we have a small gust. Let's see what happens. But when I want want him to tighten tighten the the circle, I found it very difficult to do that. 
a friend of mine that has the same glider says that I should um, hold the aileron steady for all the rounds. I'm not used to do that with my other gliders, so I suppose I'll need to to f I need to learn how to fly it correctly. Now we have very nice. If you might see, we have some some uh, wind gusts. Uh, the glider is floating in my hand, as you can see. Uh, let's give it a try, a, a second try. And now I'll uh, uh, move it to the speed mode and see how it behaves while it's on his speed mode. Okay, we up in the air. I'm on speed mode. You can see how it's... Oh, you just saw it. I hope you saw that. That was a wind gust moving him like a rag doll. Uh, but this glider is climbing. I don't care if he's a, a rag doll. Although it's keep on climbing, that's good for me. Now I'm in uh, speed mode uh, with a little uh, elevator to camber means that uh, while pulling the up stick the camber is going down to the natural position of the profile of the wing oops a little bit let's see Okay, change program. We'll go to the Helios. Where it is? Where is it? Here it is. We on the Helios. That's right. Let's start up the Helios. Very easy. I have a <coughs> switch, so it's pretty much easy to do. I think the Helios is one of the highest launcher. Mm, pretty much like the Steigeis and even I don't know maybe the same but let's give it a try oops that was too much up trim and the Helios is now <clears throat> up in the air in uh, cruise mode is a little bit edgy up there but As I thought, <clears throat> it's much more, I don't know how to, to say it, but it's much more vivid out there. It's due, it's also influenced by the gust winds, but it's much more delicate. And when I'm putting him into a churn with a little bit up elevator, it does exactly with a little bit rudder and up elevator. And it keeps on turning exactly as much as I did with the transmitter. Now I had some issue <clears throat> in downwind, but we overcome it. And let's see what happens. Oops, again downwind, be easy. As you might see, if you can see it, it's a little bit tossed around, a little bit, but it's keeping his course straight. And I do like this plane. I do like this plane. Full up, turn around. Let's try to do something around here. Maybe a little bit more. I'll try to put him in thermal mode and see how it goes. No. 
let's try another area maybe we got lucky here no no luck here back to the cruise mode this plane has some elevator to camber or how you might call it snap flap the Steigassen doesn't like too much of a snap flap in the thermal mode so I do it only in cruise mode with a little bit camber of uh, maybe extra two, two millimeters of camber for a full elevator but this guy doesn't care you can load him with even more up to five millimeters of camber during full uh, up elevator where is the wind coming from okay this plane is launching like a rocket something up there it's small it's not that strong but it's okay we can do something as you can see it's still hanging out there I'm on a little bit of camber small thermal mode let's go back to cruise mode and put some small amount of camber from the left slider Let's see. Let's try to find the core of this thermal since I I haven't found it yet. Maybe it's uh, more downwind, but now I'm a little bit too far, too far. Try to get back. Put it on a uh, speed mode between those between those oops I got some hmm, I got some uh, small gust near the grass so I had to land it down as you might see I put it uh, through those uh, big uh, lighting uh, poles so it's not the best uh, area to fly it's not the best area to fly gliders but it's the nearest to my home so I'm not complaining 